Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's LaDonna. Uh, today I have for you another easy home decor idea. Um, this could easily be used as a centerpiece as well, but I'm using it for my bathroom. I'm trying to spice up my bathroom. Uh, if this is something you're interested in, please stay tuned. If you're not a member, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, welcome back to my channel. Today we're working on an easy um, home decor idea for the bathroom. Um, I'm going to use just the chess pieces themselves. I found this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. I've been looking for it forever and I finally found it. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, some of these coffee filters, a foam. I'm gonna use some of these um, pearl wraps. I'm gonna use one of these planters. And I was telling y'all on my last video that uh, some of them say flowers and garden and gardens. And then some of them are in French. I couldn't think what they were at the time, but some of them are in French. And um, so I just happened to find this one this time that it's in English. So we're going to use some paint. And this is a ballet slipper um, chalk paint from Waverly. And I got this from Walmart. And I'm sure I'm going to need something else as we go. But I will definitely let you know and put, put it down in the description box below. Okay, let's get started. So um, what I'm gonna do is uh, just use one of my, uh, just a, a paper plate to uh, pour out the paint, uh, the Waverly chalk paint. And um, I got it all over my hands. <laughs> uh, and I used a um, makeup sponge to just spread it on. Um, and this is after two coats. And I believe I'm going to use some of the metallic silver to bring out the, the uh, words on the side of the, the tub. So let's do that. Okay, I swear y'all, one of these days I'm gonna be so organized. I don't know when that's gonna be, but I'm gonna try. But I'm gonna squeeze out a little bit of the metallic silver paint and this is from Anita Anita's which probably came from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to give it across and see how I like it I don't like it, I won't do the other side. Uh, it's kind of not showing up as much as I thought it was going to. So either I'm going to have to use black or I'm going to have to use white. So. As much as I wanted it, just ain't gonna happen. Okay, it's kind of really light. So let me think about that. And I haven't decided, I really wanna do something with pearls. I've been really trying to do something with pearls and I just cannot figure out what to do yet. If you don't have any of this stuff, guys, use the traditional uh, uh, bling wrap. Don't run out trying to go buy nothing. Just use what you have. I don't want you to get sick trying to get out there and have your husband blaming me because you went out there. So no, let's, let's just use what you got and we'll figure it out from there. <laughs> But um, I think I want to use the white. I started out with the silver. 
I don't know. Well, I can't find where to open it. I think I still want to do the silver. Now this goes five across. So what I'm going to do is going to put two on this side, on the outside, one going across the center, and two in the inside. I hope that makes sense. And all I'm going to do is use uh, hot glue and glue it on. I'm going to start over here on the side. See what I'm saying? Okay, so I got two on this side, one going across the middle, and then two in the inside. Okay, I don't think you need to watch me glue it, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue it and then I'll be right back. So I got the top on and I think it turned out beautiful. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and just do two, um, two wide going across the bottom and then we'll be right back. So when I say that we're gonna do two at the bottom, what I mean is I'm going to cut away uh, two rows of the uh, of the pearl wrap and put it across the bottom. And it cuts just that simple. Okay, so I cut it across the bottom and put on these two. I'm going to have to do something to bring those words out. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put the feet on the tub. And I didn't use the black ones. And it comes with eight of the black, um, I don't know what these are called, rooks or something. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I even attempted to play, play chess. And we're going to use these as feet on the bottom of our tub. So just sort them out how you want them. Like that. And just take some hot glue and glue them on, glue it on there. And this dries really quick uh, I guess because of the aluminum or whatever this is made of it dries really quick so you got to be prepared You can, of course, use some E6000 of, or something that's going to be a little more permanent, but uh, for video purposes, I'm using hot glue. Just make it quicker and see how that turns out like that. It's a little tub. 
Okay, so now you're going to need something like um, hand soap pump or this is uh, some hair supplies that I use in my hair. Uh, just you're going to need the pump portion. And depending on its color, you may have to go ahead and spray paint it. I am already spray painting one already that I have outside already ready, getting ready. So I'm spray painting it black. I'm making the legs black, the the little um, faucet black. I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and brush on a little uh, black uh, paint. And this is, uh, I believe this is ink, the color ink in Waverly chalk paint. And I'm just going to kind of dry brush it. gonna like it either. Maybe. Yeah, that kind of looks a little bit better, so. I think we'll go with this. And when I tell y'all I use one drop, that's all I use. Okay, I'm going to show you two ways that I'm going to decorate this. One is going to be with the uh, coffee filters. And uh, I, yesterday I was working on another project, so I did quite a few extra. Uh, so I've already dyed them the little, uh, let's see, this is like the uh, rose gold. So I've already dyed them rose gold. So we're going to use some of these. And let me show you, because I've already done them. Let me show you how I did them. And I've done this several times before, but I don't mind doing it again. Okay, so you're going to take the coffee filters. You're going to use a uh, pen, pencil, marker, whatever. It doesn't matter. Go about center ways. You don't have to measure, but we're going to get as, as center as we can. Take it and push it down in your between your fingers. See how I got my fingers? Just take it and push it down in there. Take and pull the pen pencil marker out, and you have it like this. Okay. Then take the bottom, squeeze it together like this, and turn it a couple times and that's all you have to do and that just makes like a little flower or something let's do it one more time take your pen pencil marker put it in the center okay push it between your fingers like that pull the pen pencil marker out take and pinch it at the bottom Turn it a couple times, and that's all you have to do. And that's all I did. So, we're going to take... I may need a half of another. Again, use whatever you have. Please don't run out and get anything. Uh... If you if you don't have any you may stick some just some um 
plastic bags down there. It doesn't matter. I imagine I could put plastic bags down at the bottom. You could ball up some of the coffee filters and put them at the bottom. Whatever you have, don't run out and go get anything. Okay, so then I'm just gonna take some glue I'm gonna put some right on that little part that I pinched, and then I'm just going to push it down on the the uh, foam. And I may have to use the side of this one to make it taller. I'm going to link the video of where I dyed these at. These, I went ahead and just took the paintbrush of the uh, the rest of the paint and just just painted on the uh, a bunch of them. I didn't do it on all of them. I just did it on a few of them because it's lazy. But They're real easy and simple to uh, to uh, paint. They're just, uh, it's just time consuming. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this up and then uh, I'll come back with it completed and then, then I'll show you the second way to, to uh, decorate it. Okay, so I put it in the bathroom. I kind of like it like right here with the uh, the uh, wash rags and stuff in the bucket. So we'll try there. Okay, so this is the second spot I thought on the ledge of the tub. So either in that corner there where the candle is or over here on the ledge. What do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comments. And here is with the um, uh, coffee filter flowers. So I'm not sure which one I like, but I like both. Leave me a comment. Let me know which one you like. Again, I just want to thank you all for stopping by my channel. Thank you for your support. Please stay safe. Don't uh, don't forget to uh, uh, leave me a comment. Please like, um, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Bye.